Welcome to another explosive episode of Joystick News. Today, we're diving into the shadowy depths of the gaming underworld, where hackers and insiders collide to unveil the future of one of the most anticipated games around, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. Buckle up, because we've got a confirmed sighting of none other than Deathstroke, and it looks like he's gearing up to join the fight. Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, has been stirring the pot since its announcement, promising a chaotic blend of anti-hero antics and explosive gameplay. Amidst a mix of excitement and skepticism, particularly following some controversial character implementations, a new twist in the tale has emerged that's sure to grab your attention. Insiders have been buzzing about new characters slated to join the lineup in future seasons, and if the rumors were to ignite curiosity, the hackers just poured fuel on the fire. Deathstroke, the infamous mercenary and master tactician, has been spotted in the digital flesh, or at least his icon and name have. Despite Rocksteady's plans to officially introduce him only in 2025, some crafty hackers managed to reveal his presence in the game's coding, displaying his icon on the leaderboards. This revelation follows recent disappointments with character integrations in the game such as the much-anticipated Joker, who turned out to be a grind-heavy addition with minimal narrative impact. This has left fans craving more substance and strategy in their gameplay, and who better to deliver this than Deathstroke himself? Here's what we know so far, Deathstroke isn't playable yet. The hackers, while managing to reveal his name and logo, haven't cracked into any playable version of the character. This aligns with the leaks from trusted Suicide Squad insider Miller Ross, who indicated that Deathstroke is scheduled for Season 4, which is a good bit down the line. But why is this leak significant? First, it confirms the continued expansion of the game's universe, promising richer content and deeper storylines. Second, it highlights ongoing security issues within gaming communities where data leaks can impact player expectations and company plans. The implications of these leaks are twofold. On the one hand, they build anticipation and can increase player engagement, eager for new content. On the other, they pose challenges for developers aiming to control the narrative and surprises of their creations. This isn't new to the gaming industry, but it's a dance that developers and the community continue to navigate. As we look ahead, the introduction of Deathstroke raises questions about the direction Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League will take. Will the inclusion of a character known for his tactical genius and moral complexity give players the depth they crave? And how will Rocksteady bolster their game to handle these iconic additions? Only time will tell. But here's the takeaway. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is at a critical juncture. It can learn from the pitfalls of past live service games and evolve into a title that not only entertains but also resonates with its audience. With Deathstroke on the horizon, the stakes are high and the potential for redemption is even higher. That wraps up today's dive into the chaotic world of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. What are your thoughts on these leaks? Are you excited about Deathstroke's arrival or are you skeptical about the game's future? Drop your comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe for more gaming news and insights. Stay tuned to Joystick News where we bring the thrill of gaming right to your screens.